So, our campaign is set in Ravnica. It's a beautiful sunny day in the city. And Halinda, you find yourself walking to uh, one of the Boros Legion uh, headquarters. Uh, you've been summoned there for a special mission. And you're making your way through the town. It's not uncommon to be summoned for special missions, but uh, it generally implies some sort of uh, promotional opportunity. You've you arrive at a, a very large, square, sort of military esque building, and inside you uh, are sent to a waiting room where you see three uh, other people who have been summoned. Uh, two very small figures and one very large. And uh, can you describe yourselves, please? I am a Loxodon. I'm sitting very quietly in the corner, just sort of watching the other two little creatures suspiciously. My character's name is Purse Snatcher Cot. Oh, God, I can't remember my <laughs> name. Purse Snatcher Cot and Alley put on bail for a nickel, also known as Pickle. And I am easily distracted, so everyone who walks by is captivating me as I go. I am a goblin, kind of green, kind of pickleless, like very warty and bumpy and kind of gross. So, yeah. And next to me is Snartoon, another goblin. Uh, squeamish little guy. He has armor on and he wishes there was more of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's got a rifle strapped to his back, which he's itching to grab. And uh, he's, his eyes are darting left and right. He definitely does not like you because he's, he's <laughs> hiding behind the other goblin looking at the monster in the corner. Mm. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's Snartoon. He's a uh, very dark green. He wishes, again, it was darker. <laughs> Can you give a quick description of what they see when you walk in? So I walk in and I'm a very confident, chest out, proud um, dwarf warrior. Um, and I'm very confident that this promotion is for me because I am <laughs> the number one Boros Legionnaire in this room. So I sit down and just look at you guys and think, yeah, I got this in the bag. <laughs> uh, looking around, you do notice that all three of the other people in there are the same rank as you are in within the Boros Legion. Though Technically you... speaking. Only because I haven't been promoted yet. <laughs> This definitely sounds like the world's worst like hospital waiting room with just the <laughs> weirdest people sitting around. So I sit myself away from you guys because, you know, I need... First of all, I don't want to sit myself near these nasty goblins. But I look at them and sit down and wait for them to be called in. I nod a greeting to you. Yeah. I nod at you too. I'm like, hello. And I kind of... <laughs> Why are you guys here? Away. <laughs> they must be lost or in trouble. Mm. So. so you're you're sat there for a while, just sort of awkwardly looking at each other, the two goblins attempting to hide behind each other, uh, until a uh, a lower ranking uh, member of the Boros Legion enters and says, uh, "Please come with me," and leads you out of the room. Uh, do you all follow? Yep. Definitely. Oh, I God. get up quickly. <laughs> I wonder why they're coming as well. Like, we all have to go in? I do what I'm told. Weird. Yeah, I follow, my head, kind of I like... follow the bigger goblin. Okay. <laughs> I Time slowly lumber up the rear. So you're all led to a, a very familiar room to you, and this, this is the commander's hall, so this is where uh, ceremonies happen, but also where uh, most people are given their orders for bigger missions. Uh, this room is empty, except for uh, one commander up at the top, who all of you recognize as Commander Commander Brolden. Ah, Commander Brolden. I know you. Good day. <laughs> I recognize you. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> uh, he looks up from his papers at his desk sitting at the top, and he says, Ah, you've made it. Please, step forward. Mm -hmm. You all... Step, step forward. forward. Right I don't step Does forward. Stand to no. attention. I stay way behind. He he gives you a a look that just absolutely pierces you, and <laughs> I shake my head. I turn and say, "Your commanding officer has given you a command." 
Seriously, step forward. I push him forward. No! <laughs> <laughs> and that makes me go forward. Okay. Once you're all up, he looks at you and he says, You're all up for promotion. Uh, some of you for obvious reasons. Obvious. Others for reasons beyond my knowledge, but that's not for me to say. Uh, we have a mission for you. Uh, there has been talk of a strange happenings in the sewers beneath uh, one of the districts of Ravnica. Uh, you will be sent down. You are to find out what the disturbance is and stop it in any way you can. Now the uh, Azorus League have sent several uh, of their groups within. Uh, none of them have returned, which is why they're sending us. Because they need someone who can get things done. And he gives, especially the goblins, a bit of a sideways look. Hopefully, you guys can handle it. Wait, none have come back? None. Who's you are? You are? Uh... <laughs> I see we start with the bad jokes early. Okay. <laughs> May I ask a question? Of course. I am, compared to my colleagues, slightly on the larger size. Will I fit in the sewers? What is the height of these sewers? These now? sewers range in very different sizes. There's some small, some large. But they House they seven, go... Seven. You'll fit, don't worry. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so let me clarify. You want us to work together? Yes. The four of you are up for a position in a new squadron we're developing, a, a special oh. operative squadron, and we want to see if you can handle jobs that others can't. Uh, under his breath, he mutters, yeah, the Azorus League. He, you can tell he, he doesn't have a lot of respect for them, but he's, he's sort of, they are the law, as it were. Uh, you will be required to select a commander. Out of the four of you, uh, okay. you will each be given a uh, 200 gold pieces and the opportunity to go and see what the quartermaster has for you. Uh, you'll be sent to see quartermaster Traxis at the uh, the uh, utility hall. He gestures off down the, the way where you can get anything you may need. Any questions? I shake my head and I point at the elephant. Hey. Leader! I would gladly take the responsibility if that is what my colleagues desire. Okay. Well, I can assure you, Commander Baldwin, that I am the best person here in order to lead these measly troops to victory. Okay. What are your qualifications? I have discipline, I am mission-focused, and I am not going to settle for failure. Hmm. Have you led a party like this before? That's irrelevant. I don't see that it is irrelevant. I think it's quite irrelevant. Well, what are your qualifications? I have led many uh, uh, a group of uh, Loxodon in my in my previous life, and since joining the Boros League, I've also gone on several expeditions with several teams. I think she would remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, I'm going to be in charge of the battle because I have strategic experience, and um, I suppose as long as we're working together and getting this mission done, that's what we need to focus on. I would agree. Just so my colleagues are aware, I'm quite adept at healing as well, so uh, I'm okay to allow you to go into battle first, if that is your desire, and I Most I also like to be at the front of the lines, but, you know, healing is also an important part of my uh, resume. Well, I'm at least glad to see that the two of us are on this team. Excellent. So we'll have to keep these guys in line. <laughs> yes. They're right there. I'm like you, <laughs> but the opposite. <laughs> Alright then. I will be focusing my heels on you, the friend. <laughs> So who's the leader? I will respectfully allow the dwarf to lead. Uh, Broldim gives you a look and hands you a, a symbol of Boros, which you recognize as a, a guild symbol. And he hands it to you and says, this will allow you to uh, cast heroism as a cantrip. So use it as you see fit. What does heroism do? Uh, it's a spell that you can look up in this book. So after handing that out, he goes back to his papers for a second, looks up and says, Yes? I do have one final question. Um, when we figure out what is causing this, do you want us to try to bring it back alive? 
Or do we have your permission no. to take whatever measures needed to? We don't deal with alive in the Boros Legion. Just end the threat to the city, finish it, bring back evidence, and uh, we'll see about your promotions. Thank you, sir. Did you understand, people? No. <laughs> Just come with us. I'm going to follow the dwarf. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. You're in good <laughs> hands, gentlemen. Don't worry. you got big hands. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so you all make your way out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to Snartoon and give him my money. Because I always give my brother my money. Because he always tells me to. And that's what you got to do. <laughs> you got to listen to your brother. Even though we don't really look the same. And there's not really any kind of visible relationship between us beyond the fact that at one point, Snartoon had told me that he was my brother. Uh, <laughs> I haven't figured out whether or not that's true, but it doesn't seem to bother me too much. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. And I put it in my pouch. So you two have worked together before, I think. Yes. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I, I, he's the best goblin sniper we've ever had. I go and I hold it, and he shoots it, and sometimes he hits it. <laughs> and it's really good. Does he ever hit you? Yes. Oh dear. Only the ears. Yeah. I'm glad I have many healing spells for him. <laughs> you have bigger ears. I want to watch for that. <laughs> so, you make your way out, and uh, uh, Helinda, looking at the map, leads you to a uh, sort of a lower entrance, a sort of a spillway entrance, so the large gated uh, door. The gate doesn't have a lock, so it's quite easy to open, and before you is this sort of damp tunnel that goes into the darkness ahead. I like damp places. I don't. No. <laughs> oh boy. Goodness. All right, onwards and upwards, start marching in. I'm going to start walking the entire time, just... <laughs> <running. laughs> no one told so, me to stop. So as you say, going. onward and upwards, you notice that uh, Pickle is... Uh, <laughs> already like halfway down this <laughs> okay. tunnel into the so, dark. Might I suggest we have a walking order? Yes. Pickles, so, pickles, come back. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. I am the leader. I will lead the way. Okay. So stay behind me. Sure. Already there. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to cover the back? Yeah, perhaps bring up the rear. Excellent. And to make sure these two don't make sure they don't wander <laughs> off or do anything stupid. Huh? Understood. <laughs> All right. So, so is everyone ready? Mm-hmm. As you go. Ready? As you march into the darkness, uh, so I'll march forward, being like obser- very trying yeah. to observe the area, going forward until there's something of note. Yeah. How dark is it? Like, is it dark, dark? Yeah, it's dark. Should I cast light? I, I think have dark everyone vision, has dark so. vision except you. So. Oh, do you need light? So. Oh, I don't have dark vision, so either I have to trust <laughs> in you guys and like put my big old hand on one of you and follow you, or. <laughs> <laughs> but so if we have a fight, I won't be able to see. So yeah. So need maybe light. you need light. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to? Do you want to cast that on my shield so that I can light up the way ahead of me, or are you okay casting it from back there? Um. Well, the only problem if I put it on your shield and then we get into battle, that won't help. You, <laughs> it's right? gonna be awkward. Yeah. Um. What can I cast it on? Maybe your hammer. Yeah, but again, I'll be like it'll right in my face if mm. I'm swinging. Um. Snartoon. No. <laughs> light him up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have anything in your backpacks or anything that would be you could just throw on the ground? Well, if we I mean, I have a fight. dungeon ear pack, so I'm assuming that comes with a torch of some kind. So I could, I could light a torch and hold it. Oh, okay. I'll, hold, I'll carry a torch in front of me with my, I'll have my shield in one hand and my torch in the other. With the light spell, it's meant to be. It's it's not supposed to be like blinding or anything. Okay. So no. if, even if you light on your hammer, okay. It'll really then I'll put it on my okay. my sun forger. If you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. So then I will cast light on my uh, hammer. Perfect. Oh. So, uh, are you walking down carefully, or are you just marching? Pretty confident marching forward, um, but trying to be really observant, taking okay. in my surroundings and... So, roll a, uh, an investigation as you go. Always. Everyone can do it. As you see what's there. Seventeen. Three. Seventeen. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah. Goblins are. <laughs> it's because I'm I'm just so used to like looking at anything, so it's just like anything that catches my. Oh. I'm a little bit too excited about the mission, so I'm only getting a focused, three. So. Focused. Focused. Um, I also want to use my big trunk to sniff while I'm doing the investigation okay. check. Okay. So, uh, I believe you're at advantage then. Might smell like us. Eighteen. So as you're walking down, uh, it's starting to smell pretty rank. Mm. This this is 
raw I sewage. Pinch my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, there are rats. There's refuse. Uh, oh. Things have washed down the spillway and have gotten <laughs> stuck. Oh, food. Yum. Stuck in different places uh, through these tunnels. Uh, and you, you come up to a, a split uh, going left and right. Uh, and with your perceptions, you do notice that there is a small chalk, chalk mark mm. uh, pointing to the right. Hmm. How does this compare with what's on the map? Uh, the map only led you to the opening. Oh, I see. So I put the map away now. Yeah. Can I see if I smell anything down either particular? Yeah. Roll a perception. I want to start. Otherwise, the two paths look the exact same. Yeah. Looking down the hill. And you're, the you're, about, the over like... you're about 10 minutes down this, down this tunnel. 22. Oof. Goodness. Okay. Uh, down the right side, uh, you get... I don't a, see, yeah. Can I smell blood? Can I smell Yeah, anything? you get a faint whiff of, uh, of blood and, mm. and rot. On the right that, where the chocolate's That's a little stronger down there. Okay, so I relay that information to my team. That it smells and the like left made... side, you don't smell anything unusual? No, nothing. Nothing like uh, sewer. apart from the sewage. <laughs> it smells well, like home. That, that was a tough check, too. Then. <laughs> we need to go and take care of whatever's causing this mm. smell. I hate my life. <laughs> Come on, Snartoon. It won't be so bad. Forge You're in much. good company. Think of all the food we can get down here. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Everyone, we may find what we're looking for down this side, so mm -hmm. keep your yep. eyes focused. I bring my, I have my maul in my hands ready to go. Yeah, I, I pull my axe ready. I pull out the rustiest sword you've ever seen. <laughs> it has a faint glow to it. We were just at the store. This is my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out that long silvery tube. Okay. It's connected to tubes to my backpack. Okay. So you, you make your way down. <laughs> <laughs> You make your way down, and uh, after about a hundred feet, uh, you come across a corpse. Corpse of what? I'm going to poke with my sword. Roll an investigation. investigation. Stop <laughs> poking the evidence. It's dead. <laughs> yes, yeah, we did it. it. Let's go back. Legion? Is it we did it. Legion? Well, that's why you're rolling the investigation. Oh, man. I should not be investigating. <laughs> Five. Well, it's a very easily... Uh, identified corpse as you recognize the tabard of the uh, Azores. Mm -hmm. The Azores. Why they Azorius. sent them on this mission? Azores? Azores. 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 Oh. <laughs> Don't act smart. You've never heard about the Azores. <laughs> <laughs> but he has the medallion. Oh, use the thought. Use it. <laughs> I'm going to use a charge to detect thoughts around me. Azores. This must be one of the ones they sent down mm -hmm. earlier. Why they sent them here in the first place for a mission clearly made for the Boris Legion, I don't know. Hmm. She said. Can we determine how it was killed? <laughs> yeah, roll a medicine check. Natural 20. Oof, okay, so. I take out my dissection kit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you put on tiny, this. tiny glasses. <laughs> Full autopsy. Yeah, exactly. Everybody? So, so taking a quick look, it's something's clearly bitten him mm. Mm. Uh, but you're able to determine by the amount of blood on the ground around him that this isn't where he died ah. he uh crawled his way here and just exsanguinated as he reached this point okay. so he does have a large uh tooth marks throughout his torso mm. and mostly like covering his whole front and back so like, something... like, how big is the mouth like uh yeah with that role you could determine that the mouth is probably about Five feet long and two Oof. or three feet wide. Okay, like a mold of the teeth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. You can tell the teeth are three or four inches long. Do you know what might have caused such a bite? I meant would a nature. Well, check monster. Uh, yeah, nature check okay. could uh, could tell you. Thirteen. Um, this looks like um, similar to bites you've seen before from wild animals, though it's much bigger. Hmm. So some sort of large animal. Hmm? Can I see if I can smell the type of animal? <laughs> you can try. Yeah, I guess it's gross. It smells, no, like, I don't it smells like a crocodile. It's best, it would be an investigation <laughs> yeah. to smell. It's like our most powerful. You yeah. can try and determine Tools what you can are. with smelling. That would be 18 or... Ooh, no, 18. So smelling it, it smells like a corpse. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I burn it? 
No, wanna, we can't. This I'm going to start going through his like pockets. Hmm. Okay. Stop uh, that. What are you doing? <laughs> I was looking for some stuff. <laughs> He's not going to use it. He may not be in our guild, but we still need to give him a respectful death. Okay. I he may he, am I right? Hmm? Is it he can not uh, It seems to be, yes. Okay, so I cross his arms across his chest and push him to the side and think, on our way back, we'll see if we can mm-hmm. take him back okay. out of the sewers. I'm glad we selected you as leader. That is a very noble way to treat this. Of course. It's not how a goblin would do it. No, I burn it. The goblins are not the leaders. I burn it. <laughs> oh, you did. Don't burn or eat the body. What's wrong with you? <laughs> waste not, want not. Can we determine you don't waste where it, you don't it dragged want. itself from? Like uh, further down in the, the direction see, like, you're heading. Blood trails. Is there? Yeah, yeah is there, there's a trail of blood. Going down. We're still in the long corridor. Yeah. All right. All right. We must be on our guard. Yeah. Um. Do we know how long ago this happened? Uh, it looks to be. Oh, a few days ago. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So whatever. It's, it's not recent. Okay. okay. Well, I guess we keep going. So forward march. Okay. Same marching order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you make your way down. Oh, just uh, a note: my light only lasts for an hour. Yeah, so, I assume you recast it. Yeah. It's a cantrip. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So you make your way down, and the you find that the passage is slowly going down, so you're getting deeper. How high is the ceiling? The ceiling's 15 feet high. Phew. I or stand 10 to f- It changes slightly 10 to 15 feet, yeah. but it's you, you, it, you it's, can walk. If it ever gets to like 8 feet or less, just let me know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad thing. Put an elephant in a sewer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Loxodon? Elephant is offensive. Yikes. That's just... <laughs> so you make your way down, and it's uh, another 15, 10 minutes walking about, and... You see ahead that there is an opening and there's a room ahead. How big of a room? Can Can't tell? tell. It's it's too dark. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this medallion that that Snartooth gave me and start rubbing it, and I'll, I'll cast it detect thoughts okay. accidentally though, like just by like, <laughs> rubbing it like a genie. Like the genie's not coming out. <laughs> detect thoughts has a range of uh, yeah, it doesn't I specify here, thirty feet. I believe so. Can uh, you pass me the book, please? Take a quick look. Yeah, I will whisper to my colleagues, I suggest we approach quietly, mm. says the ginormous elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Super stealthy. <laughs> but only for, so we have the surprise tactic. Yes. It's mm. a good tactical move. The move-in. element of surprise. 30 feet. Okay. So you're you're more than 30 feet away from the room right now. But So you, you cast it by accident. Yeah, it's just like... And you, you get thoughts like... I hear like, Snartoon's thoughts. Yeah, you, you hear Snartoon's <laughs> thoughts. Snartoon like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's okay, and it's okay. you hear Helinda going, oh, these goblins. And mm-hmm. you, Buddha going, I hope that guy's okay. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's, that's all I you can't. really get. Snartoon wants just... to climb on, onto her back. <laughs> to he or she? He? She, <coughs> you can't like, tell. Well, no, but <laughs> as you read those thoughts, like yeah. it would be safer up on the back of the elephant. Yeah. That's and completely taller. fair. <laughs> yeah. Tallest goblin ever. <laughs> okay, I'll start moving into the room, but like really scanning left and right, trying to be stealthy because I want to surprise. I don't want to give away our tactical. I'll follow her. close behind, sort of like mimicking her. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I try to blend into the darkness and mm-hmm. hide. Pouring <laughs> <Hide. laughs> on yourself. <laughs> Sink into the darkness. Yeah. Okay, can you uh, roll a... Uh, are you trying to be stealthy? Yeah, I'm trying to be stealthy yeah. um, and sort of figure out the size of this room. Is there anything in this room? Are there any passages? So I'm like... Okay, so roll a stealth check trying and to figure out what's then in the room. roll an inve- uh, a perception check. The natural 20 and an 11, but I'm at disadvantage, so it's... I have 17 mm-hmm. on the 17. 18 for me. I'm hanging back, because I know I'm not still <laughs> And what was your perception? Oh, I didn't do a perception. I wasn't looking around. I'm, I'm literally just, like, focused on following. <laughs> oh, following seven. Around. Seven perception. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. I'm trying so hard to sneak Thank you. Thank bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, you make your way in, and uh, this room is about... Uh, 20 by 30 feet. It's not huge, uh, but there is blood caked all over the walls and handprints of blood, and it looks like something's gone down here. Mm. Uh, none of it's fresh. 
though it hasn't dried as quickly as it might in the sun, but mm. it seems something uh, was go torn apart here. Dip my finger in and taste it. It's blood. No, <laughs> no bodies, just the blood? Just the blood. No, I dip again and go for a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> just start enjoying it a little bit. I joined in. So are they all in the room now? Like. Yeah, you can okay. your way. Then okay, so all have, we, have we toured the whole room? Yeah, like we so, so this the room, sides? there's about uh, 10 feet of walkway on the two sides, and then the center has a uh, sewage river flowing through it, that you, the one you've been following for a while. Did we identify any other exits from the There's side? another exit on the other side. So just the way we came in and the way yeah. out on the other side. Okay. okay, so then I come back and I tell... I well, we're we're already Buda. in the room. We've gone... We're right, starting but Buda was hanging oh, okay. Yeah, so I, once so I, I see you guys are... I come and tell Buddha we've yeah. done a full perimeter of the room and it's filled with blood. Something clearly happened here, but there are no bodies mm -hmm. and um, there's another exit on the other side. Okay. So I'll come into the room too then. Okay. Uh, oh, as oh, you're oh. describing this, can you roll a perception? Me? Yeah. As you're now entering the room. Thirteen. <laughs> Let me see. Can I percept with my nose? <laughs> no, not in this <laughs> case. Just close your eyes because and just, like, the nose as, knows. Like, as, uh, as Helinda is sort of spouting these or uh, orders standing there, uh, you see in the shadows, like, your dark vision's not there, but as your light sort of as you step forward and your light starts to encompass Helinda, you see that there's this an enormous figure with gaping open wide mouth with massive teeth. As I'm saying, the room's standing, empty. <laughs> totally safe Standing anymore. right behind her and it, it, it looks to be dripping with the uh, the sewer water. It's sort of rising up out of the water slowly, claws <laughs> out, and I'd like everyone to roll an issue. Yeah, so I would shout, Helinda, behind you! Yeah, it's still got the surprise yeah, no, no, I rolled sure, a 20 on the 20. <laughs> so. Eight. Ooh, but he rolled terrible on initiative. Excellent. So I got 20? Uh, 25 to 20. I got six. Yeah, I didn't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> 15 to 20? Okay. 15 to 20. 10 to 15? Yeah, 11. You guys are so slow. Yeah, we're terrible. It's a pretty bad roll. My little goblins jumping into Goblins action. are fast. <laughs> well, you're in the room, but it kind no, that's of makes true. Yeah, That's true. Five like, to 10? I got eight. Uh, we got Wuda. And what'd you get? Six? Six. <laughs> so I'm too busy talking. Alinda. Too busy Buddha, talking. Why aren't you listening to me? Focus what are you looking at me? Look at me, this? <laughs> Look at me dang it. These people. Who did they send me in here with? <laughs> so, this enormous beast rises up behind you. And I need to know where you all are. Uh, we're by a giant, a giant sort of pool of blood. Just sampling it at this point. <laughs> just yeah, little... we're drinking it. Yeah, we're just we're just yeah. having. No, no, we're together. We're we're together. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna move you to the, yeah. the, I was, the bigger I was pool of blood. Talking to. Well, I would have been. I'd be a bit closer in. Um, a bit closer in than uh, Snartoon. Snartoon would be heading. Yeah, yeah. Switch the positions. Yeah. Okay. So you, you stayed by the door. You hit the first. Like yeah. the door he came in is over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so he got the sneak attack off. So he's gonna hit Helinda. <gasps> And it's going to make uh, one attack. Uh, 26 to hit. I think that is. Yes. My armor class is 19. Yes. And it's going to be... How does he keep rolling? <laughs> it's gonna be I know. 42 damage wow. as this thing reaches down and just chomps into your shoulder uh, bending the armor and wrenching it sort of off your shoulder slightly and then dropping you 46? Uh, 46 yes ouch yikes so good, thing scream. I, good thing I got the heels Oof. Uh, <laughs> just kind of grunts I'd like you to make a strength check to see if you're able to Wiggle your way out of its jaws. Flex. Wait, wait, wait. The damage happened. The damage happened? Yeah. You have to roll the strength to get out of the jaws, though. Yeah. Okay, okay. He, he bit you. He's trying to eat you. <laughs> as monsters are wont to do. Um, 
And now I have to roll a strength check. Strength check. A safety yeah. throw. No, or? just straight check. And so I take that number and then I add in your strength plus plus five. This one. Oh, because yeah. it's not saving throw, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'm at twenty three. So as it's biting you, you manage to get your hands right. underneath the jaws and push it off and drop out of its mouth. It, you manage to not become grappled Slam. by it. One just, burly flex. Dwarf. <laughs> just flex. Just flex and pop out. <laughs> just flex your pecs. <laughs> I'm like, ow, and then jump. <laughs> so next up, Pickle. This, uh, sorry, Pickle. This giant figure has come out of the water. It looked like it must have been lying completely flat on its belly, waiting for you guys to come close to the water before it ambushed. Hmm. What do you do? I, I see that it, it bit lady, uh, uh, Helinda. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, now I'm just going to run at it and okay. like try and attack it, basically. So I'll, I'll, I don't know. Like I, I don't think I need to run because it's. Well, it's, you're 25 foot. Move. I have 35 foot movement. 35? Yeah, yeah we're fast. Yeah. Fast right. little nimble boys. Do you want to jump into the water or do you want to try and attack it from the, um, the shore? No, I feel like I might drown if I go in the water. So <laughs> okay. I'm going to go from the shore because he seems big so enough. You that can I get can... up behind it, no problem. Yeah. Um, and then so what I'll do is um, I'll use uh, one of my battle master maneuvers. Like, mm -hmm. but basically, I'm going to try and like grab it by the tail and like hold it steady <laughs> so that Snartoon, when he gets a shot, can do a little bit better job. Yeah, so you want to grapple it. So, uh, well, kind of, but like, yeah. I'm going to like try and stick my sword into his tail to like clamp him down. It's like a distracting strike, basically. Okay. So he'll be like pinned and kind of like, or maybe, yeah, I guess. So yeah. which battle master move is this? It's distracting strike. Okay. It gives, it, it gives your allies an opening, basically. So it's like enough to like, sort of make him like... Okay. Focus and I think it adds damage too, doesn't it? Uh, no, it just no. gives everyone advantage. Uh, okay. The, sorry, another attacker other than me has advantage in attack before the start of my next turn. Okay. So. Um, okay, never mind. Is this an attack or...? Uh, when you hit a creature with a weapon, attack. You can do that. Okay, yeah. so you so. can attack normally and then use... Uh, yeah, use I, I'll use one of my dice. dice. Or, yeah. So I'll roll for attack. 13. Yeah. Just hits. It's a big thing. It's not hard to hit. Yeah. It so, relies on ambush. And then, uh, so cause my magic sword is is magical, but it's also really dirty and gross, and I don't really <laughs> maintain it, so it's kind of got like rust and like just gnarliness yeah. on it. So it does normal damage and like necrotic damage as well. Okay. So it's one d six of normal and one d six of necrotic. Okay. So I rolled two ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well done. <laughs> But it was more, I mean, the whole point of this attack was more just yeah. to sort of, like, create Goblin an opening. show in there, or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. So, um, uh, and bonus action? Um, no, I think that's about it. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Snartoon. Okay, I'm going to invoke my uh, go goblin wisdom and uh, <laughs> cast Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. It is Hunter's Marked. And then I'm going to fire my rifle at it. Uh, so, which one? It's gonna be the regular rifle. Okay. And you have a, you have advantage on this uh, attack. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that would be. I think everyone does actually. The ne oh, sorry. Then the next attack roll. So it's oh. only this this shot basically. Oh okay. Oh thank God I rolled a one there. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be sixteen. Sixteen will hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So for damage. Is 2d6, so 3d6 with the Hunter's Mark, plus the 5. So 12 total. Perfect. And then I'm going to try to shoot it again, because I have two shots. Bang, bang. <laughs> a natural one. <laughs> Why does it insist? <laughs> so he shoots uh, okay. it's two natural ones oh, already. Come on. My ear. <laughs> Not again. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll flip a coin to see if, uh, if it. <laughs> Do hits I shoot him. him in the ears? So, heads, you hit him. <laughs> Tails, you don't. Okay. Heads, you hit him. Aww. Aww. <laughs> He's not Hunter's marked, at least. Yeah. No. Oh, good. Rolling ones again. Well okay, done. Take a total of uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> and, yeah. Gosh darn it. It's Fight like a goblin. In the ear again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Buddha, you're up. So I'm 
So you saw this thing come out of the water behind uh, the what you perceive as the only other able-bodied member of this group. Yes. Can I take a moment to try to figure out what it is? Uh, sure. You can roll a uh, nature check. Twelve. So it's it's clearly some sort of crocodile, but it seems to have been mutated somehow. Okay. There's mm -hmm. elements in it that you recognize from sort of ogres, others from maybe trolls, uh, large beasts. But like the, the teeth are all mm -hmm. they're, they're not the regular type of jaw. This thing seems to have been magically expanded, grown, experimented on in some way. Mm -hmm. I let out my mighty battle cry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake. That is not gonna, that's going to get old real fast. <laughs> I like it. Whatever. Um, I will charge at it. Okay. Um, this is great for you. I, I can to... step in the water, eh? Like, yeah. I'm, it's, I'm tall it's enough. It's not deep. It's only about three feet deep. That's like my height. I, <laughs> I would drown. I do have a technical question. Can yeah. I use a war priest? point and channel divinity or is it only one well using a channel divinity is an action i'm not sure what a war priest point is well it's attack action can use bonus to attack with a weapon yeah oh, okay so if you mm. use an attack action then you can use a bonus action to hit with but you but, but you can have to i use... also channel divinity to get a plus 10 to my roll was my no question. channel divinity is also either an action or okay. a bonus action you okay. have to use an attack action you used your bonus action to try and identify this thing anyway so you don't oh have that bonus was a bonus action, action? yeah oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll just things leave. aren't free <laughs> it should be then i will just try to attack it with my maul cool uh 20 oh yeah that, that hits well, a lot. Thir 13 hits, so I think you're okay. <laughs> All right. 20, uh, no, 14. <laughs> I'm good at math. 14. 100. <laughs> I kill it. One hit. Super dead. Not bad, not bad at all. So, next up is Helinda. I was going to say the crocodile to bite her again. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to skip really, your turn. Take another really chomp out of her arm. <laughs> All right. So I want to attack it. So whip around and come at it with my axe. Yep. Um, first of all, because I have now two allies within five, meet, five feet. Of you or of the enemy? Of me. Hmm. You have one ally yeah, within I'm five not, feet. I'm not You're within not five within feet. five feet of me? No. Okay, never mind. Unless you suddenly are really if good you, friends you, with the crocodile. <laughs> No. Could she shift over yeah, she could shift in between? Over. Can I step? Yeah. In between. Buddha and and yeah. and, and we can make your way that could be my really good between me. It'll be uh, you're like I mean I'm pretty sure she'll double, double your movement, legs. Double your movement to go through uh, Buddha, but as long as you don't leave the melee range of the crocodile, yeah. you won't have an opportunity to attack. Okay, okay. I just want to like so step 10, over so I have 15, those. So now you have two in your way. Yeah. yeah. So then my shield might glow a little bit as I gain mm -hmm. a. Um, Plus one armor class for that next hit. Um, every little bit helps. <laughs> every little yeah. bit helps. And then I'm going to... Um, it also means I can protect you guys if he comes after you instead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit him with my battle axe. So that's 1d8 plus 5 slashing damage. Um, so we first check by hit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Four. Plus what? Uh, nine. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen hits. Yeah. Wait, where is... Oh, that's my attack bonus. Okay. Yeah. So, thirteen. It hits? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, so now Just I'm ready for damage. 1d8. 1d8. I don't think Helinda's as qualified as she makes her <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 I got a seven, though. On my, and then I get plus five to that, so I get twelve damage. Yep. Yeah. And all my attacks automatically get a second attack. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit him again. I didn't mind you too. Actually. What's extra attack? Oops. Do I have to roll again to hit on the second attack? Yeah. Or it's, okay. You gotta remember your stuff. Awkward. You hit again. Thirteen. Well, I mean. <laughs> so I hit him four. again. With a Stop four again. <laughs> you're gonna Just have to start rolling higher, higher if you're gonna survive this. Oh, I got a twenty. I'm getting by. I'm getting by. Okay. Man. Okay, and then I hit him that time for eight. Okay. 
and um, feeling super confident and angry at this guy, I'd like to use my action surge. Ooh, already. Already? Gung ho, I don't waste time. Don't waste time. Now I'm gonna hit him again, because I'm super keen. This time I roll um, 15 plus 9, 24. That will hit. I mean, considering 13 was, you overdid it a little bit. <laughs> and that time I hit him for um, 12. Do you get a second attack with action surge? Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, you used to get a second action. I goofed. This is the worst. <laughs> this is freaking out. I'm so mad. Sorry, you be, said 12. I'm going to be staring at Helena yeah. being like, oh, I learned. <laughs> How does she do I mean, that? And then that time I, I hit him again because I rolled 14 and then plus 9. Yeah. And then I get 5 plus 5. I'm 10. That's some good mathing. <laughs> this is why you're the leader. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're strong. Okay. It's that PhD coming to work. <laughs> Helinda certainly does not have a PhD. <laughs> so any, anything else? That was your bonus action? Yeah, so we're good now? That was my bonus action, so I'm all done. Okay, and now it's Crocodile's turn. Surges, it, no, that wasn't a bonus action, actually. That was action surges yeah. to get a second main action. Oh, yeah, so you still have a bonus action I if you want. I still have a bonus Can you action. again? If I want. Not with a bonus action. Um, I could re regain some hit points. Probably not Maybe I idea. should, because he might hit me again. You know yeah, what? I'm yeah. going to use my second wind. It's a bonus action, which allows me to regain hit points of 1d10 plus my level. Which you sure the action surge isn't a bonus action? It's not. It's a no. second action. Okay. That's fine. Go so, for it. Because I wrote bonus action if it yeah. was. So regain your hit points? Yeah, 1d10 hit points. It's not that much. So. Uh, now the... Yeah, that's 12. Where's the one? Crocodile. Here it is. That's the only damage I've indulged. Wait, wait, I have to do... I have to get my health <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and roll. Oh, man. It's 13. Clutching, clutching my ear. Like, 13 is good. <laughs> that was a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> you hit something at least. Yeah. Usually you don't. <laughs> well, the first there too, and there's a safari happening here. Yeah. With an elephant in that. Yeah, the crocodile. <laughs> So he's distracted. You pull out Too a camera. Too many targets. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the crocodile goes to the biggest target, which is in front of him, which is the loxodon. Vuda. And will probably hit with a 29. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> just, just hits a little. Are you within five feet of me, though? Yes. Oh. The loxodon is? Yes. So I can react with protection, which gives disadvantage on the attack roll mm -hmm. on... On that crocodile. He's gonna flex again. It's my present. Second oh, hit no, is leader. 14. <gasps> oh, hey, well, nice. you know, Very well done. Thank you, leader. Uh, second attack with its tail on. Oh, there's more than one. <laughs> on pickle. No. My ear. Are you within five feet of me? Same thing applies. Uh, you only have one reaction. Have one per reaction. Round. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry, it's pickle. Okay. So you won't have another reaction until your turn. You made the right choice. I'm used okay. to it. <laughs> 21. Yeah. I'm clutching my ear. Let me start rolling now. Oh, my face! <laughs> oh my god. My ear and my face! This thing might eat you entirely. He's not, it's my tail. It's he's with the tail. Oh, right, right, right. He's with the tail. Yeah, Oops, I'm rolling the wrong dice. Let me re-roll that. That's awkward. Cheating. This is going to be a home run with a goblin. 20 damage. Okay. Oh. Bludgeoning damage. As the tail swings and s just smacks you. Ah. <laughs> really weak little. Oh. I'm okay, Rob. I'm still standing. I'm just like... Oh. Next up is Pickle. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> Why is everyone hitting me? Um, so I'm going to get kind of like mad. And uh, because he's, he's uh, bigger than me, I'm going to use the fury of the small. I'm going to get some, get some revenge on him. I'm pretty sure everything is bigger than um, <laughs> And so basically it's going to be that the damage, the, I'm going to do extra damage to yeah. it, but it's based on my level, so it'll be like an extra 10. Cool. Um, and as I'm doing that, I'm also going to be trying to do a menacing attack, like just like bite him, stab him, just like kind of like go crazy on his tail, because that's the closest thing to me still, basically. Yeah. Buddha finds this cute. <laughs> <laughs> So like we'll roll, uh, like a pet. <laughs> we'll roll one of the. Uh, so it's a, it's for all intents and purposes it's a menacing attack. Yeah. 
one. Oof. I trip over his tail. <laughs> so you, you fall You start to make this menacing attack. You're getting ready, and then the tail comes through and whacks you. It trips me over. Um, I guess I'll use an action surge, though. Okay. Um, at the same time, I'm going like, to kick it, maybe, or something. Just, like, sure. just flay, as I'm falling, flail like a madman to try and get something in there. Uh, 16 plus 9, so... Yeah, that will hit. That'll hit. Um, 2d6. Um, does the Fury of the Small still apply at that point? Uh, not sure. Because is it applied to that attack? Or? When, you damage, with a, when you damage a creature okay. with an attack or a spell. So you can, so you can cause it, an attack. It wouldn't course. have spent. I wouldn't have had to, yeah, I'd have yeah. to do it, announce it when I hit, basically. So um, the two for my sword, uh, six and a one, so seven plus uh, ten, so seventeen. Oh, that's... And I've also done the action surge. And do I get an extra attack on that as well, I guess? Because I actually have the same thing that Helinda does as well. If you want to do an action surge. Why well, That's what I did. Oh, okay. So, no. Okay. Action surge is the attack. Okay. Because I'm just going to assume that by rolling the one, I kind of for, I kind of forfeit yeah, that first one attack. Is, by one falling. is an auto miss. That's it. So, like, <laughs> I'll just, I'll, or if I'll go You do, the so, extra uh, sorry. Because you, you have an extra attack. So yeah. You, you attack with the first, then you attack with the second, use your menacing attack. You can still use your action surge. Okay. Well, the, the menacing attack, then, uh, he has to roll a wisdom saving throw. Otherwise, he's frightened of me until the end of turn. That is a, kind of a funny image. <laughs> it's like trippy. It's a little you rolled a seven. Is that a fail? I believe so. I don't know. What's the DC on it? It's just he has to roll a wisdom saving throw. Against. And the target must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save. It's right to you until the end of turn. What's the saving throw, though? I don't know. Just, <laughs> just, just, just make a wisdom saving throw. Let me look it up one second. I think I'm also supposed to have rolled a uh, superiority die to damage roll. Yeah, is, that yeah. makes sense. Four, so it's an, it'd be 21 total. So it's eight plus your proficiency plus your strength or dex. Does it matter which? No. Well, whichever one's higher. My strength is four, so it'll be 12. Okay. So he fails. He's afraid of me. And what was the extra damage? Uh, it would have been four, so 21 total. 21 total, and it was 17 before, so that's another yeah. four damage. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and... I'll pick myself back up. That's my bonus action. <laughs> that's fine. You didn't actually get knocked over mechanically, so it's yeah. okay. Next up, Snartoon. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to kind of gaze over at the water, mm -hmm. see if there's any other <laughs> sign of any more of these. Roll, roll a, yeah. an investigation. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. Investigation. Oh, so 15. No, it doesn't look like there are any more in there. Okay. And I'm going to shoot him. Maybe shoot him this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that would hit with a... Uh, that's uh, nine, ten, yeah, fifteen total. With yeah, a, I no need to hit thirteen, right? Yeah. So this might hurt because now I have Colossus Slayer. Oh, as an ability, because he's so, big. So I'm rolling an, an extra D eight for Colossus Slayer, mm -hmm. and I have to roll another D six one after I'm doing this. So. Eight. Oof, that is gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, you aim as well as Snartoon. Not, <laughs> 19 damage. Oof, ouch. And then my second shot. Second shot. Ooh, that hits, actually. Uh, so, again, it was this plus. And then 17. It's another 17 damage. Another 17. Man. This guy going down yet? How? He's. Bloody, he's got tear. You're tearing the flesh off of him I really messed with up your shot. <laughs> really <laughs> messed up that dog. The tail is all hacked to bits as <laughs> as a pickle laid into it with little daggers. Well, they're not daggers, but it's like he's, a short sword. Like yeah. massive bruise is starting to appear where he got hit with hammers and axes and all sorts of stuff. My he's he's not like he's not looking good. Four times, four slashes. Uh, next up is Vuda. So I will um, attack. But I will divine strike. Ooh. So what when I hit, uh, means I hit again Sounds with a, a D eight. But I, th it, I was just reading it. I think it's a D eight plus my spell attack modifier. Apparently. Sure. Excellent. 
Yes. If, if you read it. <laughs> I did. I don't know everything. Do you trust me? No. no. Oh, I love this. Um, Just well, a 14. 14. Hey. Woo! It's not hard to hit. It's just <laughs> massive. Thing. Okay, so it's this. Uh, plus four. So nine plus four is 13 plus the D8. 13 plus six, so 19 plus eight, 27. 27 damage. Man. No. 13 plus eight is 21. Shh. I counted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better. I mean, no, it's 27. <laughs> Regardless. 13 plus eight. 13 plus six. So 13 plus six is 19. Mm -hmm. Plus eight. Oh, you do plus oh, eight. Oh, 19 yeah. plus eight. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, well done. Well done. Yeah, because I get, <coughs> unless I'm wrong, but it says I get my spell attack modifier. Okay. Yep. Added. So. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. I trust you. So, as funny. you swing your hammer and bring it across the jaw of this thing, you feel it connect and you also feel a pop as the Ooh. jaw completely <laughs> disconnects. Oh, that's fine drops and actually tears off and is hanging by a little bit of sinew on the other side and this thing sort of wobbles and falls forward almost landing on top of you and it is dead is it nice. bigger is it bigger than buddha it is much bigger than buddha Whoa. Yeah, look it's, at it. it's about it the to scale yeah. you know Damn. and yeah you defeated it good well job done. team and now we feast <laughs> good in them's goods <laughs> them sewer gators <laughs> Now, Great. can I deduce whether this is the thing that killed the little guy in the other room? Uh, yeah, roll a medicine check. Yeah, check out this. Or a teeth. nature check. Can I, can I investigate if I can eat this? <laughs> you can. <laughs> 14. Uh, 14? Yeah, it's quite easy to tell. Like, the size of the jaw okay. with, with what you know from before, mm -hmm. based mm -hmm. on the size of the jaw, the teeth, the mm -hmm. placement of it, it seems to be the thing that attacked this thing. Okay. I also got a 14. Uh, you take a bite out of it, and uh, it. You're used to strange meats. Tastes like magic. <laughs> then this one tastes a little off. Doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste natural. It's okay. like. It's like. Lab-grown meat. <laughs> <laughs> Artificial. <laughs> Just as a point of clarification, I have a fire firearms expert, which is why I don't have to reload. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Fair. Well, then Snartoon starts jumping up and down and saying, We can get out of here! We did it! We did it! Not so fast. So, can we investigate this um, dead monster a little bit more? So, have we all established that this is not a natural looking well, crocodile? Or? The uh, Buddha, Buddha told you. Yeah, I, I would have relayed that message. Sorry. To okay, so that, that we know this is not natural. Mm. So we clearly have to get to the bottom of this and see mm -hmm. what made this strange creature. Mm -hmm. And there could be more. There could be more. Mm -hmm. So we will not leave these sewers until we are sure that this problem is completely solved. I agree. Whoa, Snartoon is like disagreeing. <laughs> his head and his shoulders slump. And he doesn't object though, but yeah. Now, the, they did ask for proof of all of this stuff. Mm. Do we want to carry the head of this ginormous alligator? Cut off, or I've already cut off its tail. Maybe some of the teeth? Its tail is about, about like yeah. the 10, head? 15 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> and like, a good, like, it's thick. Well, presumably we'll be coming out this way, so we could always leave it here, I guess, unless mice eat it. Or rat. Maybe. We could always take a few or of goblins. the teeth in our pockets. Are the teeth some, let's take some of the teeth. Because the teeth we heard were before, do I know that they're distinct as well? Do I see that? Well, they're unnaturally large for this kind okay. of creature. So I'll grab one of the teeth, <laughs> yank it out, <laughs> stick it Just in my pocket. Just the jaw off. It's already hanging off anyway. Yeah, I have to pull it out of the, you know. Let's bring the jaw with you. I'm not going to take the whole jaw. It's badass. She's it's carried around with you. Where's like a nickel? <laughs> like <a> I'm <laughs> just going to take a tooth. Thank All you very right. much. Fine. I'm going to approach uh, Pickle and look at your ear and say, that's a good one. What? That's a good one. <laughs> it was nice. Really yeah. nice. I got a nice ear. <laughs> would my companions like some healing? That would be wonderful. Right. I could do with a little bit of healing. I don't have an ear. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No, it's still there. It's just, just ragged. The... It's like... oh, oh, there goes that. <laughs> so, shall I do... Prayer of Healing at third level. So you get 3d8 
plus eight. Sure. To six willing creatures, so. Oh, as cool. I'll be need. willing. Because there's two of you that got hurt, right? Yeah. 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 So I will do that at third level. You need D8? Yeah, so, uh, oh, I roll it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to roll this, one of them again, I guess. Do you need more D8? Oh, yeah. she'll, do, she'll have two and then she'll roll the next one. That's fine. Okay. Plus seven. 17 plus, plus eight. 25? Yeah. That puts me back to four. Cool. Uh, oh, um, that does take me 10 minutes to do, though. So, okay. is that if that's going to wait 10 minutes? Uh, it's been about three and a half, four hours since you started really? this mission. Wow. Like you got it, you went to the quartermaster, you yeah. walked to the entrance, you traveled through the sewers a while. We gotta hurry up. We only got 24 hours mm-hmm. to get this done. Yeah. <laughs> wow, she's after her job, eh? <laughs> she wants that promotion. We'll be done in 12 or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> or die trying. <laughs> okay, so how many hit points do I get? 25. 25, yeah. 25. nice. So that took 10 minutes. Alright. I'm a little bit scratched up so but feeling I'm good. feeling pretty good. My ears kinda like reattached itself right now. <laughs> New hole. Yeah, How it's long pretty is a short rest? That's four a short hours. rest is a full hour. I can do one another hour? spell on just hour, you if you like. Well, I'm I'm just like eight hit points short. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm no offense, but she I'm still not. has her second <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> Did you use your second wind already? I did. I you used did. it during battle. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering if maybe we should stop for one hour just so I can get my... Catch your breath. Catch my breath and um, maybe feel ready for the next fight. Hmm. Does anyone idea. else feel like they need a short, quick rest? I'm fine. Short? I can use a nap. I'm fine. You could use a short rest? I can use a nap. So, maybe just one hour of investigating this creature and stuff. While resting, yeah, Buddha, do we have enough time? Yeah, one hour. One you hour. are the leader of this expedition. I think one so. hour is worth it. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, I will investigate because I don't need the rest, and okay. I'll just uh, just check out the room, fi- try to find weird entries or uh, traps or. Okay. Strange. Roll an investigation. Yeah. Just see what you see. I'd like to stand guard at the tunnel going the other way, and I'm going to clean my weapon. It's covered in gross crocodile goo. You got a ten. Ten? Uh, so there's just blood everywhere, and it's very distracting, and you see, like, handprints and things, and the dragging away as, as these people, presumably, got dragged into the water by this thing as they were trying to get away. But uh, you find nothing, no secret doors or anything like that around. Okay. Any other corpses or anything that you found? I'm just going to up against Can I drag the, the bottom of the canal <laughs> no, on the tail? Try to look yeah. for corpses? Go ahead and roll an investigation. <laughs> You're going to use your trunk. Why not? It's sewage. Eh, I'll just blow out. <laughs> <laughs> I am overwhelmed with the smell of sewage. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a one. <laughs> I got a six. Six, yeah, you, you don't. Like, you know. Everything you touch, you go, It was oh, a great idea. Oh, like, slimy. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I embarrassingly wipe my truck off. <laughs> all right, we've made good progress. I want to use heroism, so we're all immune to fear. Perfect. Um, How long does that last? I think it lasts until... Hold on, I have to double check the book, actually. Heroism? Yeah. Heroism. I think it was until um, we lose the... Until we die. Until we lose the hit points. <laughs> Because it also gives you plus one temporary hit points. Heroism. Was it there? I'm sorry. Concentration up to one minute. Oh, really? Oh. Is that to cast it or? No, duration. That's cast not. time is just one action. It only lasts a minute? Yeah, this is Run. like something to do in action when you're oh, like, no, 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 steal no, yourself, I thought friends. it was like a buff. Never mm-hmm. mind, never mind. No, no. Uh, when I see her... Performing this incantation. So do it. I cancel it. Uh, she she like, it. Oh, it's, it's one minute. minute. Like, the oh, duration of the spell. It gives me an idea. So I, I cast Pass Without a Trace, mm. uh, which is a one hour of Veil of Shadows and Silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. Ooh. Oh, okay. nice. Do you want to do this uh, during the rest or after? No, no. After. I just have, we're just when we're ready to, to go off. again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we get plus 10 to bon- bonus to dexterity stealth checks. Excellent. Because I, I think that'll help. Because I'm clomping along. Yeah. Plus 10, you said? Yep. 
It's for an hour. Sweet. So plus ten to stealth. Sweet. So let's so you keep feel going. This magic kind of radiate from oh, me. Tingling. Feeling super Ooh. sneaky. <laughs> Picked it up. Back in the day, we were hunting orcs. I didn't want to be seen. <laughs> kind of just came naturally, you know? Well, at least it's useful. Let's get back in formation and keep Okay, going. bye. <laughs> so I'm going to be in the front again. I'll we're just going to be at the back and these two little goblins in between. And we're going to start going down okay. this next tunnel. And I put light on my mall again. Okay. So as you start heading down the dark tunnel, we're going to end it there. For, for this first uh, bit, uh, and we'll see what you find in the sewer next time. <laughs>